In this video, we're going to look at Roman numerals. Roman numerals were obviously used by the Romans, but we actually use Roman numerals still today. Uh, we use them in situations such as clocks and clock faces. Um, we use them as quite often whenever you read in a book, the chapters can be in Roman numerals. Um, even whenever you watch a movie or a film at the end, sometimes it comes up with the, you know, the end of, or the end of a TV program. It comes up with the year in Roman numerals at the end. So there's some situations where you would encounter Roman numerals. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some of the common Roman numerals you might encounter, first of all. So the number one. Um, in Roman numerals, 1 is the letter I. So we use I for 1 in, in Roman numerals. Uh, 5 is the letter V. 10 is the letter X. 50 is the letter L. 100 is the letter C. 500 is the letter D. And 1000 is the letter M. And these seven letters can be used to make lots of different combinations of numbers. So let's start off with the numbers from 1 to 10. So, one is just the letter I. Two is I, I. So if you put uh, two I's beside each other, that's going to be two. And three is three I's, I, I, I. So the I, I, I is three. Now four, you would think would be I, 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 I. But then if you carried on like that, their numbers it would be very, you know, take a lot of time to write down the most simple of numbers. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you five. Because remember, five is V. Okay. Now four, instead of writing down uh, I, 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 we write down I, V. The way I look at it is it's one number before five. Okay, it's I, V. So which is, is one number before five, which is four. Well, five is V, six is V, I. Okay, so five and a one, so it's gonna be six. Seven is a five and a one and a one, so that's V, I, I. And eight is V, I, I, I. Five, a one, a one, and a one. Okay, and that's it. Now again, we're going to jump to ten because we know that ten is x, and considering that four is i v one before five, nine is one before ten, so it's going to be i x. So the numbers from one to ten. So I'm just going to do the letter, uh, the numbers eleven and twelve now, particularly for telling the time. It's important to know from one to twelve. So given that ten is x, well, eleven is one after uh, ten, so it's going to be x i 10 and a 1 and 12 will be x i i and that's it they're the numbers from 1 to 12. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to have a look at some examples of clock faces that use Roman numerals. Now on the left you may recognize it it's a very famous clock in London <laughs> um, we have got x i i at the top where x i i is 12 we've got i 1 i i 2 i i i 3 IV, which is 4, the correct version of 4. Now, some clocks do use an incorrect version of I, 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 um, just because it's, it's just been tradition for some people to use that version on clocks, but the proper version is IV. Uh, v, which is 5. VI, now this is upside down, it is, and the V here was upside down, V, 5. VI, 6. VII, 7 which just remember it's upside down, V-I-I-I, that's it. I-X, well, one before 10 is nine, X is 10, and X-I is 11. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the numbers from, we've looked at the numbers from one to 10, or one to 12, we're now gonna look at the numbers from 11 to 20. Now, with the numbers from one to 10, we know them here. If you put an X in front of each of them, yes, you get the numbers from 11 to 20. Let's have a look and see why. So. With 11, well, it's a 10 and a 1. So a 10 and a 1 will be x for 10, i for 1. So that's going to be 11, x, i. Uh, 12, well, it's going to be a 10 and two ones. Well, it's going to be x, i, i. So x is the 10 and i, i is the 2. Uh, 13, well, obviously, we're going to have the 10 is I, uh, x again. And then 3 is i, i, i. 14, well, 4 remembers IV, which stands for 1 before 5, and then the X in front of it. So we have got here, again, this bit's the 10, this bit's the 4, so it's going to be 14. X is 10, IV is 4, so 14. 15 is going to be then just XV, because 10 and 5. 16 is XVI, because again, that's the 10, VI is 6, put them together, 16. Uh, 17, XVII. 7 and 10, so you know, 10 and 7, 17, 18, X and then V, I, 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 19, and 19 is then X for the 10, and then I, X for the 9, so it's an X, I, X, 
um, just as, um, as 19. And then 20 is then just XX. That's it. So then the numbers from 11 to 20. Okay, let's have a look at the tens now. Okay, so uh, counting up, we know that uh, X is 10. 20 is XX, so it's the same as the numbers from like one to three or what you know, but we're just using X's rather than I's. Um, 30 is XXX, 10, 10, 10, which is 30. 50 is equal to L for 50. Now 40 is 10 before 50. So 10 before 50 is an XL. So that's how 40 is XL, 10 before 50. 60, well it's then gonna be LX, a 50 and a 10. 70 is LXX, a 50, a 10, and a 10. 80 is LXXX, because that's the 50, 10, and 10, and 10, so that's then 80. 100 is C, remember those from the key ones, 100 was C. And 90, well that's gonna be 10 before 100, so that's gonna be XC. So now we're gonna look at some examples. Okay, so example A. Write 23 in Roman numerals. So we're gonna do the tens first of all. So 20 is X, X, and the units will be I, I, I. And just make sure you remember all those letters are in capital letters. B, 26 in Roman numerals. So again, 20 is X, X, and six, so that's V, I. And that's it, X, X, V, I. Write 39 in Roman numerals, well 30, well that's going to be X, 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 and 9, well that's going to be, well 9 is 1 before 10, so it's going to be I, X, so X, 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 I, X. Uh, next one, write 56 in Roman numerals, so 50, uh, remember 50 is L, and 6 is V, I, so 56 in Roman numerals is L, V, I. 60, well 60 is L, X. And then uh, 61, well, one is I, so L, X, I. Uh, write 75 in Roman numerals. Well, uh, 70, but well, it's going to be 70, which is L, X, X, 50, 10, 10. And 5 is V, so L, X, X, V. So again, these questions are quite straightforward. It's just making sure we do the tens and then the units. Uh, next, write 84 in Roman numerals. So 80 is going to be L, X, 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 that's 80. And now four, well four is I, V. So L, X, 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 I, V. Right, 98 in Roman numerals. Well, 90 is 10 before 100, so that's X, C. And then eight is V, I, I, I. And finally, right, 99 in Roman numerals. Well, 99 is going to be 190, again is X, C, 10 before 100. And nine is one before 10, so one before 10. So XC is 90, one, or IX is uh, nine. So 99 in Roman numerals is XC, IX. Okay, um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna write some uh, numbers from, uh, from Roman numerals into figures. So this one here, we've got X, X, V, I, I, I. So here we can see we've got our XX. XX is 20. And V, I, I, I is eight, so that would be 28. Okay, next example, K. Okay. Write X, L, I in figures. Well, X, L is equal to 40. So X, L is 40. And then I on its own is one, so it's gonna be 41. And the last one, L, write L, X, 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 V, I, I in figures. Well, again, our L, X, X, X is going to be 80. And then V, I, I is seven, so it's gonna be 87. All right, so we've looked at numbers uh, from one to 100. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from 100 up to 2000. So let's have a look at our hundreds. So um, 100 is C, 200 would be CC, 300 would be CCC. Let's go to 500 again, so 500 is D. 400 is 100 before 500, so it's going to be CD, uh, 100 before 500, that's 400. 600 is DC, 500 and 100. 700 is DCC, 500, 100 and 100. 800, well it's gonna be a 503, 100, so it's gonna be DCCC. 1000 is going to be M, and 900, that's 100 before 1000, so it's gonna be 100 before 1000 is going to be CM. Um, 
1100, well, or 1100, that's going to be MC because it's a thousand and a hundred. Uh, the next one is going to be MCC, 1200 is MCC, 1100 and 100, and 2000 is going to be MM. So let's have a look at some examples now using these. So write 120 in Roman numerals. So let's do the hundreds to begin with. 100, that's C, and 20, that's XX. So that's 120. Write 155 in Roman numerals. Again, let's do the hundreds, that's C. The tens, 50 is L, and five, that's V. So that's gonna be CLV. 168 in Roman numerals. Well, again, let's do the hundreds, C. 60, that's 50 and 10, so 50 and 10, which is LX, and the 8, which is going to be VIII, so that's 168, so that's CLX, VIII. Right, so write 235 in Roman numerals, again the hundreds, CC for 200, 30 is going to be XXX, and 5 is going to be V. Next one, write 304 in Roman numerals. The hundreds is uh, C, C, C. Four, uh, there's no tens, so four will be I, V. Uh, next one, write 590 in Roman numerals. Well, 500 is D, and 90, let's just add D a bit uh, clearer, D. And 90 is going to be 10 before 100, so it's gonna be X, C. So that's 590. Next. Write 721 in Roman numerals. Well, 700, well, D, C, C, 20, X, X, and one, I. Write 843 in Roman numerals. Again, 800, it's going to be D, C, C, C. 40, well, it's gonna be 10 before 50, so that's X, L, and three, I, I, I. So that's D, C, 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 X, L, I, I, I. Um, again, just checking, 843. Next, write 1,190 in Roman numerals. Well, again, 1,000 is M, 100 is C, and 90, well, that's 10 before 100, so that's XC. So M, C, X, C. Uh, and our last few examples, write 1986. Well, this might be a sort of maybe for a, a TV program in Roman numerals. Well, nine, uh, the thousands, M. 900, well, that's going to be 100 before 1000, so MC. 80, well, it's going to be 50, 10, 10, and 10. And 6 will be VI. So MC, M, sorry, M, C, M. L X X X V I. So it's 1,986. Um, example W, 2002 in Roman numerals, again perhaps from a TV program. M M is 2000 and 2 I I. That's quite a nice straightforward one. And write uh, 2019 in Roman numerals, so 2000 M M. Um, no hundreds, the tens is an X and the nine is going to be an one before 10, which is IX, and that's it. So there are Roman numerals, and um, the key thing to remember are the, the, really, the common ones, which are the sort of the building blocks. Uh, one is I, uh, five is V, 10 is X, 50 is L, 100 is C, 500 is D, and 1000 is M. Is M. And then just, um, just make sure you're working through from sort of thousands, hundreds, tens, units, and, and that's it.